Hello friends, have you ever imagined how this YouTube channel gained over 74,000 subscribers with just 15 short videos? And you can see that these baby videos have achieved incredible results. This isn't just one channel, if you check this channel, you'll be amazed at how many views these videos are getting. This is the third channel in the same niche I want to show you. And as you can see, these videos are racking up millions of views. And this is the fourth YouTube channel in the same baby niche, which has gained over 637,000 views with just 92 videos. In this video, I'll I'll show you how to create these viral worthy videos in just four simple steps, ensuring monetization and helping you earn thousands of dollars every month. Step number one, ChatGPT image prompts. First, we need powerful prompts to generate images similar to those you see on this channel. ChatGPT is the perfect AI tool for crafting these image prompts. I'm already logged into ChatGPT, and if you're as lazy as I am, I suggest taking a screenshot of the image you want to create using the snipping tool, which is available on almost every Windows device. For example, if I want a screenshot of this image, I'll search for the snipping tool, click on new, take the screenshot and save it to my desktop. After that, I'll go to ChatGPT and upload the screenshot I saved on my desktop. Once the screenshot is uploaded, I'll provide some key information to ChatGPT to ensure it generates the response exactly as we expect. I submitted the screenshot along with the key information and ChatGPT successfully generated the detailed prompt as expected. But I've prepared my own prompts and I'll use them to generate the images. I'll share all these prompts in the comments section so you can practice creating your own. Now that we have all the prompts ready, step two is text to image. I'll be using two of the most advanced and free text to image AI tools, Ideogram and Leonardo AI, to compare their results. After testing many text to image AI tools, I found these two deliver the most realistic outcomes. Now I'll copy the first prompt and head over to Ideogram AI. I'm already logged in and now I'll paste the prompt here. In the aspect ratio, I'll choose 916, which is perfect for YouTube, TikTok and Instagram. After that, I'll select the realistic mode to generate the most lifelike images, and then I'll click Click on the generate button to start generating the images. It will take some time to generate the images, so meanwhile I'll head over to Leonardo AI. I'm already logged into Leonardo AI, which offers 150 free credits daily to all users for generating images. After logging in, click on the image creation button. Now click on model or preset, and you'll see all the models that Leonardo offers to users. You can test all of these models and select the one that provides the most realistic results. Here I'll test the first model, Phoenix 1.0 which has been newly added by Leonardo. In the image dimensions section, click on more and then select the nine to 16 ratio, just like we did in Ideogram AI. After that, I'll paste the same image prompt here and click on the generate button. It will take a few seconds and cost 24 credits to generate the image. And if I show you the results from Ideogram, you'll be amazed. As you can see, Ideogram generated incredibly impressive and realistic results on the very first attempt. And if I show you the results from Leonardo, they're not as impressive. I don't think these images are suitable for use in the video. Now I'll go back to the preset models and change the model to Cinematic Kino and again click on the Generate button. Leonardo has generated these images using the Cinematic Kino model and they are good enough to use in the video. In the same way, I'll copy each prompt and generate the images using both Ideogram and Leonardo AI. If the results don't turn out as expected, I'll regenerate the images until they meet the high quality standards. Once all the images are generated, I'll show you the results. Here are the images I've generated using Ideogram and Leonardo AI. Now that we have all the images ready, step three is image to video. To bring these images to life, I'll be using one of the most advanced text and image to video AI tools called Hyluo AI. So I'll search for Hyluo AI. Now click on the first link in the search results. I'm already logged into Hyluo AI. If it's your first time I'm signing in with Gmail, you'll receive 1,100 free credits, and after that, you'll get 100 free credits daily. After logging in, click on the Try Now button. Now we have three options, image to video, text to video, and subject reference. Since we already have the images, I'll select the image to video option. After that, click on the Upload Image button to upload the image. Now I'll select the image I want to bring to life. After that, I'll add some keywords here to guide the AI. Make sure to select the i2v-01 model and set the quantity to one. Then click on the generate button. It will cost 30 credits and take some time to generate the video. The best part of this AI tool is that you can submit up to three tasks at a time. So I'll submit three images, 
and the tool will generate the videos one by one. You may receive this warning message when using these images because the AI might consider them inappropriate. In that case, you can modify the keywords or use a different image to generate the video. In the same way, I'll upload each image, add relevant keywords and generate the video. If the video doesn't turn out as expected, I'll regenerate it until it meets the desired quality. These are the videos I generated with Hilo AI using the images. Since we have the videos ready, the step four is CapCut video editing. You can use any video editor, but make sure to follow the exact steps I'm demonstrating on CapCut. I've opened CapCut and imported the video files. After that, I'll add each video file to the timeline. Now, I'll crop each video file to make the main characters appear clearer. After that, I'll remove the unnecessary parts from each video. Next, I'll add transitions for incredible results. The next step is to add sound effects or a music track, but I'll add sound effects because they will make the results feel more realistic. To add sound effects, I'll search for Pixabay sound effects. Pixabay is a great source for copyright free footage, images, music and sound effects. Now in Pixabay, I'll search for children laughing. Here, you can test all of these sound effects and choose the best one that suits your needs, but I'll choose this one because it suits our video better. I imported the sound effect to CapCut and then added it to the timeline. After that, I'll remove the unnecessary necessary parts of the sound effects and the video will be ready. I'll export the video to my desktop and show you the results once it's exported. But before showing the final results, I have some great news to share. I'll leave a link to my free WhatsApp group where you can discuss any problems you're facing with YouTube automation or other social media platforms. I'll solve them as soon as possible and it will be 100% free of cost. As you can see, people are sharing their problems and they're benefiting from the solutions provided here. Now, let's check the final results. If you've learned something new from this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.